now return to Fast Food Tech on Modern Marvels. But move over, burger joints. There's another hombre in town. Taco Bell serves over 2 billion customers each year, resulting in about $6 billion in sales. Most of that revenue comes from the 2 billion tacos and 1 billion burritos it sells annually. We sell a lot of food. When you're going to make that much, it's going to take a lot. We, we use over 3.8 billion corn and flour tortillas. We use 120 million pounds of fresh lettuce, 62 million pounds of pinto beans, 295 million pounds of ground beef, and 106 million pounds of cheese. But like many of today's well-known fast food chains, Taco Bell was small before it became grande. Mexican restaurant owner Glenn Bell started Taco Bell in Downey, California in 1962. Bell applied McDonald's assembly line process to Mexican food. Still, tacos aren't burgers, so Bell had to tailor prep tools specific to his menu. Glenn Bell wanted to find a way to make hard shell tacos to fry them quickly and so he went to a chicken coop manufacturer and talk this guy into making the original fry form out of chicken wire. With this tool, he created a U-shaped hard taco shell. It's easy to fry, stack, and hold. Bell soon became a taco titan, whose company is still known for engineering effective and efficient kitchen equipment. We grill all of our tortillas in our restaurant and by instituting this grill in our restaurants versus steaming tortillas in the old days, this process has saved a significant amount of energy in our restaurants. We're saving over 100 kilowatt hours every day, which is about a tenth of all of our energy. In here is where we hold our hot proteins and sauces. This saves over 125 gallons of hot water every day versus what Glenn Bell used to use back in the old days. There was steam bellowing out. Now today everything is dry, it's held hotter and more consistently, and plus we save over 300 million gallons a year of hot water just with this new holding station. These days many of Taco Bell's products don't need an assembly line. Thanks to various kitchen innovations implemented over time, the process has been streamlined to the point that one person can fill an entire order quickly and consistently. We have portion control devices, for example, like this, versus in Glenville days, they had a pie knife, and they would merely grab in the beef and put it on the taco. We had portion control nacho cheese and red sauce so that we can make sure that we consistently give the right amount of product. We have sour cream and guacamole that is portion controlled. And all that means you can crank out a fresh taco really fast. Crunchy taco begins with our nice shell here. We add our beef. Put on an ounce and a half of beef. Next, we have a half an ounce of lettuce. And then we top it off with cheese. And that is our freshly prepared taco. This taco today is made in 10.7 seconds. Taco Bell, like other fast food chains, constantly tries to develop food you can eat on the run. A perfect example, the Crunchwrap Supreme. Take one of our 12-inch flour tortillas. We then top it with a portion of our seasoned beef. Nacho cheese sauce. With one of our tostada shells, our lettuce, sour cream, and tomatoes. We then fold the product with our special six-sided fold that allows us to ensure the product is completely sealed for maximum portability. We then place the product on the grill for 27 seconds to seal it tight. Take our crunch wrap off the grill, slide it inside our easy-to-eat-from bag, and fold it down to serve. When you're in the car and you want to eat the product, all you need to do is open up the bag, slide the product up, as you can see, nicely sealed, and you can take a bite and enjoy. The foil-lined bag isn't just portable. It also helps the product retain heat. 
Because of the often unusual shapes and contents of their products, Taco Bell has to develop packaging specific to their needs. The wraps are different materials. Some are, are thinner than others. Some are thicker than others based on the protein or the carrier that we're holding it in. This is used for a soft taco. It's a pocket. One use of packaging that is a little unique is our quesadilla. So here's our fresh grilled quesadilla. Place it in the wrap. And then we cut it actually while it's in the wrap. So we have guides here. Cut it this way, right through the wrap. Fold it over, and it's good to go. But before fast food companies start blowing their profits designing fancy equipment and packaging, they first have to invest in making sure you... If you stacked all the flour tortillas Taco Bell serves in a year, the column would be 3,500 miles high. 